What's up, y'all, and welcome back. Go for for rabbit in this bitch. Oh, no, no cabin in this bitch. Go wipe me rabbit in this bitch. My gun go rabbit in this bitch. I've been on six weeks, shooting like no whiskey. Feel like a maverick in this bitch. Party don't tip me, show me that you can't keep far from average. The Expanse, season two, ladies and gentlemen. We are on season two officially. And a lot has happened in season one. Like, we know that it started off with, like, the missing, um, the, the disappearance of uh, Julie Mao. And Miller was, like, uh, a detective, sort of, well, kind of, like, a detective, like, searching for Julie Mao, trying to find her. Because she was, like, kidnapped from the, was it the, um, the Scopuli originally. Ended up on the, uh, the Anubis. I'm gonna try and say that right. Ended up on the Anubis, and um, yeah, they she she got like um, pretty much infected by this uh, proto proto molecule, which was designed by her father's company or her father. I'm not sure about that 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 part yet. I think it's by her father, it her se uh, it's himself, and um, yeah. And then there's the scientist guy named Dresden who's like doing research for her father, trying to figure out what's if if this thing is alive, if it, if it's evolving, I think they're doing some more experiments on it. I'm not really sure. I still need to see Dresden's story, but I feel I feel like he's gonna be like the semi big bad in in, in se season two, because he 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 looks like he's about his business as well. And then we got Christian on the other hand. Christian's trying to investigate certain things happening within the, the political side of things with like her her f friend. Um, the graph, who, who someone told me he always just wrote with pencils. I did catch that after a while after I rewatched se season one. I actually did watch re rewatch season one, and a lot of things were starting to make a lot more sense for me, which is why you guys probably haven't seen uploads from me in a while because um, I was rewatching season one just to just to uh, put a few pieces into place. But yeah, I. I, I clocked after a while that the graph always just used pencils. I did wonder at, at first why. Christian stole three pencils from his office. <laughs> but shout outs to you, um, uh, who, who mentioned it in the comments, uh, uh, talking about the pencils that only DeGroff uses and no one else used. But uh, yeah, I clocked that after uh, after what rewatching season one, and um, yeah. So yeah, they, they, they went to Eero Station. And uh, Holden met Holden and the crew. They 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 met some a guy named Kenzo who wanted to, wanted to go to Eros Station originally. They in, ended up on uh, Eros Station looking for Ju Julie as well because Julie had was the distress call that Holden picked up like way back when when the the, the Canterbury uh, got destroyed. I know I'm I'm all over the place right now. But uh, yeah, that's that's what happened. The Canterbury got destroyed. Holden and the crew were trying to figure out who was behind it. They followed them all the way to um, Tycho Station, I think, originally. Well, not Tycho Station. They found Tycho Station along the way, which which belongs to like Fred Fred Johnson, I think. And uh, Fred Johnson, he told them about someone named uh, Lionel Polanski. And they uh, Holden and the crew they try to follow the, the the trail of Lionel Polanski where he ended up at and it turns out Lionel Polanski was actually Julie Mao, and they ended up at the Blue Falcon and they found they they met up with uh, Miller who uh, was doing his investigation who also found out that Julie Mao was at the Blue Falcon and they they all met up there just to find that Julie is actually dead. She 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 got. Infected by the proto molecule on the Anubis, the e Anubis, um, and she got crystallized. She like it's just all sorts of crystals coming out of her. They they found her dead in the shower. So they try to get off Aero Station, but at at that time, Dresden and the crew had shown up and they started doing experiments, and it was like a whole Walking Dead situation on on Aero Station. And uh, in the meantime, Kenzo ran away as well. Kenzo, he's, he's like a spy, I think, for Christian, or he's a spy for the UNN or something. I still have to see what Kenzo's about. I don't trust that guy. But uh, that being said, Miller and uh, Holden, they got infected by some radiation because uh, they they were experimenting on people. Dresden and, the, and his people were experimenting on people at the time of Eero Station. And... Um, yeah, Miller and Holden, they figured that out. They saw this little uh, 
is it this incinerator or something like that they went into like this experimental like room and stuff and they got hit with radiation and um miller was just coughing all over the place he was coughing up blood like crazy but then i i found out in the comments again i think it was kirk kirk darling or something like that uh let me know if i said your name wrong there but um uh he mentioned like uh that holding is earthborn so holding is is more healthier than what Miller would be, which is why Miller, got, when he got hit with radiation, he immediately started coughing up blood. He was like puking all over the place. Uh, he was just not not himself. And um, Holden was Holden was holding his own until like later on in the episode of the finale, where he started like started coughing and everything. They started really getting ill. And uh, oh yeah, Havelock Havelock was. Uh, Killed in like episode two of season one or something or episode three. Well, not killed. He just got a a, a big old pen like this size. I, I said that this in the previous episode as well. Um, he he got a hole put through his chest by some some I can't remember the guy's name. It was like some big bald headed guy and we said remember the cant and um, people were telling Miller he should get revenge for this and all that and um. And uh, I guess Miller kind of knew that this guy was on Eero Station as well. And Holden and Miller, they met this guy along the way while all these riots were going on. With the whole proto-molecule spreading all over the place. And uh, they, they, they met this bald-headed dude along the way and Miller offed him. He got rid of him. And that was a headshot. That was not no body shot or nothing. That was a headshot. Homie is dead. Which I'm glad. Which means that, that ties up everything that happened with... Uh, Havelock and uh, Miller. Well, yeah, Miller got the revenge for Havelock. So that 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 was good. I was that came unexpected. I was not expect expecting that to go down. They they got up the ship eventually. Uh, met Amos and them. They uh, Amos and them. They they were going through their own little problems. But um, uh, that's you guys will see in the in the the finale of my previous reaction. What happened with Amos and them. But Miller and Holden, they eventually got to uh, the Rosinante, and um, Naomi and them, they they finally, well, they put something, like these little th uh, things on, I think it's like to get rid of the radiation for Miller and Holden, and they all flew off of Era Station, along with Dresden and the crew, not along with them, but they, they were two ships, two, uh, Holden and, they, and the crew, they went their way, Dresden and the crew, they went their way. I, I remember Dresden said they were heading somewhere, but I didn't catch it. Um, Y'all let me know where, where where Dresden is heading to. And then Kenzo. Kenzo was left behind on Aero Station. He did try to get off with Holden and them, but uh, Holden said no. Holden just fired a few shots, scared Kenzo off. But then something happened to Kenzo. Some strange anomaly just showed up, like all blue and stuff. And it, it was like in human form. It was like... I don't I can't even explain because my thing got stuck there for some reason I couldn't really see what was happening to Kenzo and then um, next thing I know there's this thing this claw that came out the heavens and just grabbed him took him off into the heavens dead by daylight style but uh yeah uh, we're gonna find out what's going on on season two I'm sorry if I took so long to explain that but yeah I uh, hope that kind of made sense to y'all for for y'all who's just um, watching my reactions now for those who haven't seen the expanse i do highly recommend that you do start watching it because it's a great show it is a great show full of mystery and i'm absolutely loving it that being said we are here with the expanse season two to figure out where this journey takes them now because we got to find out where dresden's gone to we got to find out what happened to kenzo we have got to find out what happens to holden and miller and the crew and what christian gets up to as well because christian she's just kind of chilling on earth right now <laughs> but she's investigating her her stuff fred johnson at the at the same time he's over here exposing people as well you got these powerful leaders as well that's 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 doing their things in the background but uh We'll, we'll see what they're all going to get up to in Season 2. But that being said, we're here with The Expand Season 2, Episode 1. Let's get into this. Oh, we're finally on Mars. We get to see what's going on on Mars, okay. Goodbyes and kiss 
CB station. It's gonna be a long trip. They seem like an interesting little crew. Oh, she got dreams. Someday. Imagine if like with all these things that we're sending to Mars right now, you've got the what's what's the um thing called? the rover and all them things that they sent to Mars and stuff. Imagine if we actually end up on Mars and life is like this. We got little wars going on and stuff. Imagine if like these type of things that's happening in the expanse actually happens in real life where Earth is like the richest planet out there and then you got Mars with the, the greatest technology out there and then you got, well, series and all those eros places out there wow that'd be that would be some futuristic stuff right there if we actually end up in situations like that <clears throat> infection on eros you didn't get on the rosalante so stop beating yourself up you made oh it. no oh he's having a nightmare i was about to say come on hold him wake up wake up hold I was about to say. <laughs> Hello? 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 Hold on, I can't hear you. Archangel is secure. We have Archangel. Archangel is... Christian's getting close to the truth. They trying to kill her. Yeah, how long they're sticking around. I mean, maybe they already know that you picked up their scent. We're not going in blind. Tycho first. Cap's right. Nobody asks you no neck. The proto molecule. <laughs> Wait, call doing? him no neck. Simple. We stick it on the end of a torpedo and we fire into the sun. Okay. How many brothers and sisters you have? I lost contact for Travis can't hide from Earth by putting on that Martian armor. His bones are all wrong from growing up in full G. Wait, so all these Martians here? <laughs> all right, kids. They're Earthborn. Well put, Gunny. Not Earth was involved. Expecting any UN elements? We don't anticipate engagement. Well, lucky for them because there isn't a team on the ship that doesn't want payback for the Donny. Yeah. In any case, we will keep it business, not rumors. <laughs> you got people on Sirius Station that wants revenge for the can. And then you got people on Mars that wants revenge for the Donager. My Julie. Even losing her was worth it. Wow. She's a sacred part of it now. So don't talk to me about sacrifice. Ever again. So he's the big bad of the season. Like I said, Dresden. He's, he's beneath him. He's, he's like a semi big bad. But Jewel, he's something else. Amos, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing Amos is in here. Of course. <laughs> that luck said it all. You pal, Simi? You're upset about that, right? I had nothing against him. I thought he was a decent guy. Decent guy? Yeah. All right. You shot my friend. Like some street rat. If you need to square up, you know where I am. Otherwise, you should move on because you're poisoning the air. On you. <laughs> you must always got beef with everybody. <laughs> you're not strong enough right now, Miller. <laughs> it's reps. Miller, he's not even he's not even to full strength yet. And he's over here fighting. Welcome to the crew, Miller. <laughs> oh man. 
bad. The outer planets and head off their ships wherever we can. Most of those bases are low-level research outposts or cargo way stations. If we place our ships in the paths of theirs, they'll know we're ready for any planned acts of aggression. Sir, if we Wasn't that guy in like altered carbon? Kind. And erode our position if Mars decides not to give peace a chance. Sir, we're the most powerful nation in the system. We need to act like that. Amos is different. Yeah. <laughs> okay, very different. But he's not crazy and he's not evil. Congrats. Do you know that old story, Pinocchio? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. Never mind then. <laughs> oh, I get it. I spent a lifetime watching all the evil shit people did to each other. Nothing got to me anymore. You know, Holden was shocked by arrows, so I was shocked that it hadn't happened a long time ago. Yeah, I'm saying. The UN and Nathan Hale she is said, on the course to Phoebe like, Station. That like cheers or something? Accelerated, they matched. Who's gonna feast on Earth's sky and drink their rivers dry? MSC. Who's gonna sob their mountains into fine Martian dust? MSC. So the rains fall hard on a They seem night. like they about that we? business. MSC. I can't hear you! MSC. Who are we? MSC. Okay. Let's see what y'all really about. Good to see you, Coach Yar. Hey, my boy from Spartacus, Asher. If you'd known it was me, would you have come? Probably not. What do you want? I want you on my security detail. He was Captain Boomerang and Arrow as well. Handle freight security for a small firm with a lunar run. Spare me the bullshit. I know all about your freelance work. You have skills which I thought might be useful someday. And this shadow government? I assume you're working with Fred Johnson. I have no love for Fred Johnson. Ah. But in this matter. His hands are clean. I don't have time to waste. I need a spy. Are you in or out? Oh, so he's a spy? He's definitely in. All right, cowgirl. I got it. He looks like he's about his action. Hey, hold it. Yeah, you might just went dead. Hold. He did not. This, but this is our fight now. Are you definitely an item? I'm the ones who know what's going on down there. I'm okay. I'm calling it now. Naomi's gonna be Holden's new girlfriend. And vice versa. Abandoned asteroid mine. Is that the same mine that Diogo's uncle like launched into the sky or is that just another separate demand abandoned asteroid mine? Sorry. I saw this from season one. Mm-hmm. Better. Because if Amos sees this. <laughs> Mars isn't stupid enough to start a war that will end civilization over a rat hole like Phoebe. Let this saber rattling play out. We'll hold until we hear from the hail. Hey, I like Christian now. Christian, she she knows. She's she's got that smarts in the pol in the politics. She knows how to negotiate. The ice moon fractured under the barrage and the fragment spiraled into Saturn. It's completely gone. What does he know? Why is he smiling like that? Viva! <laughs> That's lasagna. It's voila. Sit down. Okay, Alex, Alex, has, Alex has gotten himself back into my good graces. Come on, you guys gotta get along now. Come on. Welcome to the crew, Miller. Come on, sit down. <laughs> <laughs> I think I know that governor. <laughs> Teddy the detector, this guy was not. <laughs> Teddy the detector. That made me happy. <laughs> Seeing everyone get along on the Rossi. 
Maybe we can't have the dream of Mars until we've had that war. I think this is why Sutton likes um, Gunny. Like, you see that she's goal driven. Not like likes, likes, but like likes her her train of thought. She's goal driven to getting her little paradise. I'm loving this little Martian point of view right now. So that was season one of The Expanse. Epi season one? Psh, that was season two of The Expanse, episode one. And yeah, it's been quite a interesting episode. This one made me happy. I was just happy with like the everything with Miller trying to fit into the crew and everything. At first, well, him and uh, I'm sure him and Amos are still gonna have a few spats here and there, but it's gonna be like a little family thing, you know. Like Holden and 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 Amos, they they always have their spats where Holden says like, "Let's take it easy, let's negotiate and stuff," and Amos is like, "Nah." when these guys come aboard i'm i'm shooting them like like that like um they they it's almost like a little family spat that they always have like on on the ship now you got miller on there and like yes uh Ama shot miller's uh former friend well not former friend but miller's friend um on eros but uh he had no choice really uh dude was gonna shoot naomi i would have done the same i would have probably shot him too but uh yeah it's it's good to see like Miller just fitting into the crew and um, uh, yeah just they, they gave him a sort of like welcome like just the way the episode started and everything he's having his conversations with Holden he had his conversation with Naomi and then uh, he had his uh, fist battle with Amos and yeah he was too weak to take Amos on let him get a bit healthier maybe he can take Amos I don't know Amos is just he's he's got that brute strength. But yeah, it's that's like a, a nice little family spat type thing that that happened on there. I have yet to see um, Miller and 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 Alex have a conversation. Alex, he's he's got he's gotten himself back into my good books now. Uh, in in the, the first season, I wasn't really that much of a fan of Alex after he done like turned uh, Martian on us. But uh, yeah, it's I, I understood now kind of why why he had to do what he did. Well, no, I didn't understand. <laughs> it it feels so, still felt like a betrayal to me. Like everyone was being interrogated of being OPA, and then Alex was a Martian this whole time. And um, yeah, but Alex is he, he's he's gotten his way back into my good books now. My, my guy uh, made a dinner for everyone, tried to keep the morale up, and um, yeah, he's 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 I, I I like the crew again. I did like Alex in the first episode, like of of um of season one i did like alex uh because he, he he's all about his ship he, he always talks to his ships and stuff like he makes sure that everything is on point that being said um speaking of crews let's jump over to the martian crew gunny i caught i caught two names within that crew there was gunny and there was travis uh didn't see much about travis though um Tra i know travis is a part of gunny's gunny's crew if I'm even saying her name right, let me know if I'm saying it right, guys. If I'm not, then let me know what the right name is. But yeah, she she seems very goal driven. She seems like she's trying to get her paradise right now. Like uh, she's got her um, inheritance on Mars somewhere. Like uh, she she's she's trying to uh, basically what she that little picture she was looking at at the end. She she's trying to get something like that. She wants her little peaceful moment, like. Just have a nice little paradise, but she says she's got to go to. Maybe they've got to go to war with the Earthers to get that. Now, from what I understood from the 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 previous season, like I I think someone in the comments said that Mars has the best technology around, or something like that, or is Mars like the richest in like technology or something like that? Because on Earth it seems very chill as well. Like they 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 got they got uh. Yeah, they got Earth. They got, they got basically Earth stuff. They got the greenery. They got the UNN. They got um, everything is everything is just I don't know how to explain it. Everything is just chill there. But it seems like Earth is the richest, in like with like money wise, money wise, like it seems like they they've got all the resources. Basically, that's rich in resources. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, Earth is rich in resources, whereas. Um, 
Mars is rich in technology. I could be wrong. Uh, I know you guys have explained this to me multiple times now. Just explain to me one more time. Just one more time. Is Earth rich in resources and technology, or is it just res like certain resources that they're rich in, like of course water and air? And is Mars rich in technology because they they've got some advanced armor from what I've what I saw when they introduced Gunny and the crew. Like they got little missile things shooting at the back of their armor and suits and just like flying all over the place hitting things and then uh yeah you, you got their special stealth ships well that's not mars that's not mars that's 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 uh jewel pierre mao's uh crew that's got like their special stealth ships and stuff but um i think so i think that's what it is but yeah they they, they got some good technology mars in them and it looks like uh, Gunny's crew is all about the business. I didn't get to see them in action. I would love to see them in action, though. I only saw, I only got a little intro of them. They they like Gunny. She 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 just runs at at trouble. Like she she's a uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I can't remember the word now. But she she's all about the business. She she goes for when she sees something, she goes for it. Now, if if. Gunny's crew does run into Holden's crew. I wouldn't mind seeing a battle of her and Amos, cause Gunny looks like she's about that business. She she's got the hands, and Amos, like just to see them two clash, that that'd be something else. It's wrong to hit a woman, <laughs> by the way. But uh, I would I would just like to see Amos and Gunny clash while when she's in her armor suit, because um, Amos looks like he. I don't know. There's something between something about Gunny and Amos that just, for me, they just, they 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 almost got similar mindsets to me in a way. I don't know. Amos is about protecting others and stuff, and and making sure Naomi's alright. Whatever she says goes. And I know he's not gonna be happy about Holden and 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 Naomi becoming an item. I've seen this coming a, a, a mile away. I saw this coming from season one already. Like the way they was looking at each other, the way they was laughing with each other and just the, the, the way they was just holding hands at certain points when they were talking about certain things. I could see it coming a mile away. And then the whole situation that happened in that episode. Yep. It's 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 official. They, they a thing now. They are a thing. They sealed the deal. Holden sealed the deal and Naomi sealed the deal. But, um, yeah, uh, yeah, the drones, I was going to bring up the drones again. I know I keep mentioning, mentioning these drones. I haven't mentioned the drones in a while, actually. But I, uh, these drones that was, uh, watching, um, Christian and, uh, the guy who played Asher in Spartacus and Captain Boomerang and Arrow, um, forgot his name now, like, they like his, his his name in the in the series. Um, I know he's a spy for Christian now. I know he's gonna definitely take on that spy job as well. Uh, I hope to I, I hope we see more of him as well. Like he, he looks like he's about that business. But uh, yeah, these drones were like following them around, like watching them and stuff. And I, I noticed the drones in the back. Is the drones like security or is it like social media? Because I remember in, in the in the first season as well, there was like a drone just flying through the tunnels, capturing everything. But I, I, I felt like that's more like on a social media side of things. But uh, when it was, when these two drones were following Christian around, like making sure she was safe and stuff, was that like security drones or something like that? And who's after, who's after Christian right now? That's, that's, the, that's the other question I wanted to ask. Who is after Christian? Because someone's put a hit on Christian. I, I don't know if it's Jupiter Pierre Mao or, uh, or um, the Mar no, it can't be the Martians, but someone someone's out to get her, and it might be her boss. I don't know for 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 all I know. Um, someone tried to kill her. Basically, there's a hit out on 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 Christian's life right now because she's getting too close to the truth. Normally, when you get close to the truth, is is once people start worrying about you and they want to just get rid of you. And that's where her new spy comes into play. Because I feel like Kenzo did work for her. And I think it's wraps for Kenzo after he got taken into the heavens on Eros. But, um... Yeah, uh... 
I feel like that spy will find out some stuff for Christian trying to see who's behind it and who's trying to kill her and stuff because it could be anybody in that that boardroom when they was like discussing politics it might not even be the guy I think it is it might even be the guy who played Takeshi uh, Kovac from uh, Altered Carbon I think it's Kovac the the other guy who played Takeshi like in I think it was season one for those of y'all who's watched uh, Altered Carbon you guys will probably know what I'm on about I'm not talking about OG Takeshi I'm talking about the the other skinny ad the other sleeve but yeah um it could be could be him for all I know it could be anybody in that in that it could be the other the the guy that's always like uh being all friendly with her and stuff the big tall fella um yeah it could be anybody in that board I feel like whoever's got a hit on Christian is in that boardroom my camera went off I don't know where <laughs> it went off but um I was just gonna say um the the ending made me happy about where we holding in them they they had this little wholesome moment together uh with the dinners and stuff and uh yeah i love i just loved how the, that episode episode ended and um the only thing i was going to say was uh the stowaways that they've got on there on the rossi right now those guys might be a problem unless they put them to work or they take them to series or something just drop them off somewhere so they because once these guys get too comfortable in there, they're going to start fighting. And we, we don't want that on the Rossi. It's pretty peaceful right now. So drop these guys off somewhere and, and let that be that. And the other thing I was going to mention, where they dropped the protocol... The protocol. The proto-molecule uh, was like shot off on a little missile by Alex and them. By some asteroid, uh, abandoned asteroid uh, mine or something like that. Is that the same mind uh, that uh, Diogo's fought? Diogo's uncle like shot into the distance, like he like swung it towards the ship and then he, like destroyed. Or is that like just some other random uh, asteroid uh, mine? And where's Diogo? Can someone tell me if they found Diogo? I might have missed it in season one. I don't know, but can y'all just let me know if Diogo has been found, or is he just floating out there in space? Is my guy just dead? It's just raps with Diogo, cause I feel like it might, it might be raps, cause last time I saw him, he was floating in space, and then I didn't see him again. I was actually hoping he would become a part of Holden's crew and and them, but alas, it wasn't meant to be. And we still need a medic. We still need a medic on a, on the ship, cause um, Shed. I'll never forget what happened to Shed. Shed lost his whole head that rhymed <laughs> but um yeah that being said that was season two episode one and i enjoyed that hope you guys like the reaction hit that like button uh comment on what what else i missed out on and what y'all thought about the episode and uh like i said patreon coming soon i i need to figure out how the patreon works patreon is like a it's it's it sounds easy to understand but it's difficult to understand like but once I sort that out, you guys will see my full reactions on my Patreon. So stay tuned for that. It won't be long. I'll, I'll figure something out. So yeah, my full reactions will be on Patreon soon. And I will leave the link in the description below. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit that like button. And we are out. Bash Mash.